This video was sponsored by Squarespace. You can use my code CALORN, K-E-L-L-U-R-E-N, to get 10% off your first purchase. This video is kind of broken into like two parts, so if you want to see how I actually use Squarespace to build a website for the brand that we're making in this video, be sure to stick around to the second half of the video. Enjoy! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be making an entire brand from scratch. So last week, I asked you guys on Instagram which video you'd like to see next from me, and overwhelmingly, you all voted for making an entire brand from scratch. Now, that is a huge endeavor, so I decided to put a little bit more pressure on and set myself a two-hour time limit to actually develop the brand. And I'm also gonna be making a website too, but that's gonna be a second part because I don't think I could do that that quickly, so that will come in a second portion, but for the first portion, we're gonna build an entire brand deck in under two hours. Now, that's a lot in and of itself right there. So a few things. A, this is not something I recommend doing with clients. Uh, don't rush client projects. People are paying you so you make a good product, so don't do this with clients. This is mostly just a fun exercise for me and also just so you guys can see a more condensed version because otherwise this video would be extremely long <laughs> and it would probably be a couple hours or multiple parts since there's so many pieces that go in brand guide. So I also also asked you guys what I should name this brand and I decided to go with a hard seltzer brand mostly because I a love hard seltzer and B I think the hard seltzer market is kind of strange they became like such a popular trend so quickly that I feel like a lot of the branding was kind of like half-assed and it's not really that great White Claw has been in the market for years and I know a few other brands have been as well but I feel like a lot of their marketing and their packaging really drops the ball looking at you truly a pretty ugly so we're gonna look at some hard seltzer brands and we're gonna kind of like feel for the market and then we're gonna start building our own hard seltzer brand and I asked you guys for what I should name this brand and quite a few people came up with them <laughs> quite a few wow I can't talk Quite a few people came up with the name Helter Seltzer for a hard seltzer brand. And let me pull up their handles. I will put them on the screen as well so you guys can get credit because quite a few people came up with this. And that doesn't mean I didn't get a lot of really good ones because there were some that really made me laugh. Oh geez, there's so many. Okay, S Mix Sam, <laughs> S-M-I-X-S-A-M -S said Helter Seltzer. We had a few uh, Keltzers, which I feel like might be just a little bit too difficult for a brand name. I struggle with saying it. So that was one person who said it. Camington with two N's also said Helter Seltzer. Then we got some Keltzer Seltzer or just Keltzer. And then I also saw a few uh, soft hard seltzers and calling the brand soft, which I thought was funny. I literally have so, like I got so many name suggestions. <laughs> so anyway, those are the two accounts that got it in first with the uh, Helter Seltzer name. So thank you guys for those awesome names. There were truly some really good ones and actually like good brand names. But this one just like, I love the punniness of it. As a Beatles fan, I also like that it's uh, a play on Helter Skelter. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So let me look at my notes. So the challenge the challenge is to create a full brand guide in under two hours, and I have broken it out into eight different sections, and for those two hours, I'm gonna be spending 15 minutes on each section. The first section is going to be market research. Second section, mood board development. Third, logo development. Fourth, color palettes and like exploration of that. Fifth is type. Sixth is packaging design, which is gonna be really difficult to do in 15 minutes. And then seven is creating the different flavor profiles for the packaging and eight is mocking everything up. So hopefully I can get all of this done in two hours. I do not know. It is 6.08 right now. We'll see if I finish by 8.08. I power through. I don't think I've ever made a brand guide this fast. I've done logos in like 25 minutes, but still like this is a lot. So I'm very excited, but I'm super nervous and I'm really hot and this jumpsuit is very hot. You can't see it, but I want to show you guys. I'm wearing, I'm wearing a jumpsuit. It's green. It's from Big Bud Press. They're awesome. Um, make really cute clothes. So uh, anyway, I'm sweating. Hoo, hoo, hoo. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up Google and do some market research so we can look at some other brands that are out there and what they're doing, what the trends are. And then we're gonna go into mood boards, all right? And I will set a timer on my phone for 15 minutes for each section, so I have to stick to it. <laughs> cool, all right, so let's go start doing some market research. <laughs> Oh 
Okay, so let's check out a uh, hard seltzer. Okay, so a common one is Bon Viv, White Claw. Haven't heard of that one. I don't know, let's maybe check this out and check that out. All right, so this is a big one, the Bud Light Hard Seltzer. Oh shit, I forgot to set a timer. Okay, setting a 15 minute timer. All right, let's go. So this is a big one. Bud Light came into the game pretty late. I do not like their packaging. I noticed that they have that tall can much like a lot of hard seltzers do. Bon and Viv, or Bon Viv. Um, this is not my actual birthday, but we're fine, we can lie. Their packaging is very meh to me. They used to have cuter branding and then they rebranded to this. Don't like it very much. I do like these illustrations at the bottom, very cute. Uh, but this is like, I do not like that type at all. So it's all right. It doesn't really, like it seems like it doesn't really know what it wants to be be like the type does not match like these illustrations and stuff and i like like this double uh siren illustration that's probably not what they're called but doesn't really do much for me white claw they're all right it's a pretty like old trend very 2014 to me um let's see what they say oh it's a slideshow okay well this i don't like this website okay so truly is a big one never had those i have not heard of those truly god i hate truly's packaging it's truly awful i think there's another one is it called harry's hard seltzer is it called is it not called harry's what is that called there's another hard seltzer that i absolutely cannot stand the packaging of do you not like this uh don't really like that either don't like the bud light one there tends to be this trend of oh henry's not harry's henry's i do not like this one either it looks somehow like a worse version of the truly packaging yeah like the same thing to me it looks so like cheap and rushed i hate the type so boring like yeah i guess like that's okay honestly like the white claw does come in pretty high but i just don't like this logo that much i think the type is really outdated the wave could be really cool i don't like this little swash thing right here okay so this is what this is why i used to call it bon and viv yeah because i had an ampersand in it and then they changed it uh, but this packaging is way cuter than this packaging. I like that. I like this version way better than this version. So I never heard of her. Again, truly very ugly. Henry. It just like, I, these dots are not doing it for me. So outdated. Seems just like, it doesn't know what it wants to be. I have no reason to drink this because it, the packaging just doesn't give me anything exciting. This is the only one I've seen that actually looks cool. Like, and it's by Oscar Blues, of course, and they have pretty cool packaging, but I love that like their flavor profiles are different than like the traditional like lime mango strawberry things like that like it's a little bit different love that love that i like this like little like scenery and stuff i like the name wild basin it seems like something just a little bit more exciting so more or less a lot of these cans are white this really disrupts it because it isn't white so i don't know something cool it looks more boutique it gives me more of a reason to buy it looks like it's a more interesting brand um yeah don't like that White Claw's okay, don't like that, don't like that, don't like that, or that one, or that one, or that one. And the one that I drink often is the one from Golden Road. It's the fruit cart one. I don't know if these are available everywhere. They're common in LA, but I like these a, a lot, like flavor-wise. I think the packaging is okay. It's like the fruit cart. Yeah, I like how it's a little bit more like cartoony and illustrative than everything else that just like looks so like hard seltzer and like so black and white. Uh, I like like some color on it. Like it doesn't always have to be a white can. So we're gonna go really colorful with this, by the way, just a heads up. How much time do I have left? Oh, wow. Well, I, I got 10 minutes left, so I'm gonna cut it at that. So that was five minutes of that. So I'm gonna save my time. I'm gonna try to be done by uh, like 8.15. So we did our market research very lightly. Normally, if this is an agency doing work like this, they have people who are doing research like this for months doing like in-person testing testing, all sorts of stuff. They'll test different flavors, different packaging, and different demos around the country or around the globe. There's a lot of data and a lot of research that goes into this. So what I'm doing right now is a very, very, very watered down version of that. I looked at five websites, so don't come for me. Um, all right, so next we are gonna move on to mood board. Now I accidentally started a little bit of a mood board already because I got really excited. So what I want for this to be is very like artsy, bright, 
I want really like strong type. I want really bright colors. I want it to seem really DIY. I want it to be pretty like maxim maximalist styling and I want it to be really fun and bright. Like I feel like a lot of beer brands get to be really crazy and for good reason because there's a lot of like cool boutique beer brands. But I feel like in the hard seltzer game, there just aren't that many at least that I see on the shelves. Um, maybe more at like a Whole Foods, you might find more boutique brands, but like in your average grocery store, not really, especially like at our liquor store, I'll add a picture of like the hard seltzer selection that we have at our liquor store. It's really not that many. Um, and they're all like more or less the same seltzer. Like there's not really that much of a difference between them, so. So I really liked these posters. I liked this type. I like how hand done it felt. So we're gonna lean into that. Let me set another timer for 15 minutes for our mood board. Let's go. Okay, so cool thing about Pinterest is you get a few pins going and it'll start suggesting more ideas for you. Um, I really like uh, this illustration and colorway. I think that is neat. Same thing with this. I think that's kind of cool. I don't know if it'll work for this brand. Okay, let's see how much stuff we have so far. So we have 24 pins, let's go. All right, let's get some more of these posters in here. All right, I think I'm feeling pretty good about those. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that. Feeling good about that, okay. So I'm gonna, I got seven minutes left, so I'm gonna cancel that and then, oh boy, we're gonna move on to logo. Okay, so for our logo, I'm gonna stick with mostly just a type logo. Um, I'm not gonna do a super complicated logo like I would in my other videos, but um, we're gonna go ahead and open up Illustrator. Okay, going ahead and starting another 15 minute timer. Jesus, okay. I don't think I've ever really done a full logo in this short amount of time, so we'll see. Okay, so since we're going with Helter Seltzer, so I have a few fonts in mind. Um, one of them is Benguiat, which is just a classic. Classic. Really like that vibe. Maybe we can go a little bit heavier. Next one is Juniper. I thought this might be kind of cool. It might be a, a bit hard to read. <coughs> <coughs> Dying. Cut that out. <coughs> might be a bit hard to read, but I still like it. Even like centered like that. I think it's cool. Um, and then another one. Oh, I had Casey on here in case I wanted to do kind of like a tilted script thing, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll think. Birch was another. Another one that I really liked, another one that would be good. Oops, stacked. I'm into that. And then the, the other one that I really liked was, I made a little list, was Menno Banner. Ooh, ooh. Okay, you know what? We might we might need to go with Menno Banner. Like, are you kidding me? Ooh, or I don't know if I want to give away my secret yet. I ha okay, I have one more font called Ascentis by a lovely designer. I will put her like info on the screen here. I bought this font from her like a few weeks ago because she posted about it and I was like, are you kidding me? That is a gorgeous font. So we love her. Honestly, I'm torn between these, but seeing Ascentis next to Menno Banner. I don't know, man. I might have to go with Ascentis. So let's do that. Let's save ourselves the struggle and start working on this. Start playing with some caps. Caps might be a little bit too much. So I'm gonna play with my kerning and pull this together. I got 10 minutes left, Jesus. What a waste of time it was to go through all those fonts. So making another duplicate, Command Shift O to outline. And then one thing I wanted to do was, or I think would be like cool. Okay, I'm, I'm cool with that right now. I'm gonna pull in some guides. Okay, I'm liking that. Do I wanna connect that to there? Yes, I do. And then I'm gonna make a duplicate. Oh, no, I'm not gonna make a duplicate because my alt key isn't working. Make another one of those, merge those so I can round out this corner to match that. Okay, now that I have matched those R's, how much time do I have? I have two minutes. Cool, well, I have some extra time. 
from my last section. Okay, I'm gonna keep using this little piece to pull these E's all together into these. So I'm gonna just get rid of that, merge those. Oh, I got 45 seconds. Okay, feeling good, I'm feeling good. All right, I think we're really, really close. And there's just one more thing I'm gonna add and I know I'm out of time. I'm gonna take another two minutes and I'm gonna make a little star thing. So Pucker and Bloat is really great for making these shapes, which is really on brand for this logo and I think would be very beneficial. Expand that. I think this would be really cute next to the Z, like kind of like right here, like in line with this little point, but like then directly above. Yeah, like, ooh, love that. Love that. Maybe we add one more, like bigger one. Ooh. Ooh, really like that. I'm really liking that. Okay, a little bit smaller I'm cool with. And then maybe like one. I really like them on S's, like right here. Ooh, 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 yes. Okay, I'm two minutes over. I need to stop. Ooh, unless it should go down here. No, it looks weird out there. Merge that, make that nice and round. I don't know. This is very difficult to do in such a short amount of time. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that, I'm fine with that. We will move on. Okay, so this is kind of like our little like pictorial mark and then here is our main. What if I, what if I feel like I need another one of these up here? Maybe a smaller, a little small guy. A balancing right there. Ooh, what if we turn it? Ooh, love it, love it, I love it so much. Okay, cool, next section. Oh, it's so dark in here. All right, so the next part, part three, no, part four, I can't count, is color. So this comes with kind of picking out what we want our four flavors to be and kind of like how we can break those down into colors. So I have kind of like came up with these ideas because like I got really excited once I started thinking about doing like a hard sensible heart, well, wow, I can't talk. Once I started thinking about wanting to do a hard seltzer brand, I kind of adapted into what I want to see in a hard seltzer. So the first idea I had was a uh, pineapple mango tahine hard seltzer. The next one would be a strawberry lime because I love strawberry and lime. Next one would be a hard lemonade with actual like lemon juice, not just like lemon flavoring. I want kind of like a hard, like a Mike's hard lemonade, but not as sweet as a Mike's hard lemonade because those are like insanely sweet. Like I want it to be much more lemonade-y than like just kind of like gross canned sugary crab, kind of like how Mike's heart is. And then the last flavor, I think it would be really cool to have a hard Jamaica. So, and if you don't know, that is like a hibiscus tea and it's absolutely amazing. I love it. Whenever it's at a restaurant, I will get it because I love Jamaica. And um, I think it'd be really cool to have like a sparkling version of it with alcohol in it. So that's, those are the four flavors we're gonna be Doing. So let's pick out some colors to go with each one of those flavors because I want the colors to vary depending on the flavor profile. And I see this with some really cool gradients. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna pull some of these uh, colors from Pinterest because I really like these. And this is oftentimes how I actually end up making my color palettes is by pulling in a ton of, how many of these did I paste? Uh, by pulling in a ton of different references. Let's make sure this is an RGB because I can um, really like those colors in there. And then I kind of like tweak them as I go. Doo -doo -doo. I really like this lavender, so we'll pull that in. Oh shit, I forgot to set a timer again. So on the last section, I spent 20 minutes, which kind of makes up for it because on the mood board, I spent 10 minutes. So it's evened it out so far, right? Yeah. So setting 15 minute timer now. So let's make four different color profiles for each of our flavors. I want like a really cool green. Like I really like that lime green. Okay, so for our first one, for pineapple mango tahine, that is gonna be a three color. So it'd be a three color gradient. So for pineapple, I definitely think like a really good yellowy orange would be nice. Maybe something, maybe we could go a bit, a bit bright with it. Okay, 
So there could be our pineapple, our mango. I like a kind of like a pinker, pink, pinky-ish, pinkish orange. Kind of like something maybe in here, but let's go bright with it. Yeah, I like something kind of like that. Maybe we can go even brighter. I really struggle with like finding a, a bright, clean orange because I feel like a lot of oranges start to feel muddy. Stop emailing me. And then actually that could kind of work where we maybe like, I don't know, blend those. I'll add that one in there just for fun. Okay, so there we have our pineapple mango tahine. Now let's do strawberry lime. I'm gonna keep that same red so it's consistent across the brand. Let's start pulling together a green. Now I don't think transitioning between these colors would look very good. I think maybe if we transition to a bit of a cream um, in the middle, I think that would help a bit. Okay, so then for our lemonade, I wanna go same thing with that. And then maybe let's go to like a darker shade of yellow like that. And I think maybe for the logo, we could have it be like a contrasting color. Like let's throw in like a fun blue in the midst of all of that for the logo. So maybe for this, I mean like red and green are opposite colors. So I don't know, maybe we make the logo in blue in all of them. Cause like, I'm kind of into that. Just as like a contrasting tertiary color. Cool. Maybe I can push this to be a bit lighter and a little bit more lime. Maybe we make this a little bit more orange. No, I feel like this should be the same. Okay, then for our last flavor, we have Jamaica. So I want to do kind of like this lavender and also go to like a nice like purple. Yeah, like something like that. And then the logo for this can be white. I mean, I'm into all of those quite a bit. All right, so let's start making some blends. So we're gonna go to object, blend, blend options, smooth color, back to blend, make, boom, there we go. Um, so again, for our tertiary color, can I blend three? Is that possible? Oh, that was so ugly. Okay, so we'll do, um, we'll blend these two and then we'll copy her, paste her on top and then object, blend, boom, okay. So there's another one. Let's do these, blend, make, there we go. And then you can like spread these out too so you get a little bit more of a detailed blend. And then we're gonna do the same thing we did with this. Ooh, love that. Love that so much. Okay, the only one I'm not feeling is this. What if, hmm, let's, let's think. Cause I really like that. Like that blue is gonna look so clean on top of both of those and on that too. But this one I'm not, I'm not feeling. And like, ew, yucky. So maybe for this one, we go, we go like a little pink. No, that looks like kiwi strawberry. Okay. Maybe this one is just shades of green and then the logo is like red or pink or something. All right, cool. So I have five minutes left. Neat. All right, so I'm pretty fine with those. We'll see if I change them a little bit as I go towards the packaging end, but in the meantime, let's start our type section where we look at some supporting fonts and how we can kind of style it. All right, so the next section is going to be type and I'm looking for body copy, flavor copy, any sort of detail copy that matches our headline, which is our logo. So any type that would match our logo. We have a lot to play with in our logo in regards to subheader type is specifically like the flavor copy of what you know is gonna be displaying the actual flavor of the hard seltzer. So I have a few written down and we're gonna try some out and see which we're feeling and kind of like break down which one is gonna be our flavor copy which one is gonna be like extra copy of like you know I like to put like where it's made any sort of little additives um, which is technically called flavor copy but so our descriptor copy is gonna be one our flavor copy which is just extra little things that help sell the product we're gonna be looking for a type for that and then also type for specifics like 
um, like your 4% alcohol or, or whatever the alcohol content is, how many calories, saying it contains alcohol, things like that, where it's made, yada, yada, yada. Maybe like a little recycling sign. So, oh geez, I almost dumped that all over my new Wacom. So yeah, let's set a timer for this next section. Oh, and I also added two, actually three new color profiles for strawberry lime because I literally cannot decide. So we'll see once I start making the packaging. So I'm gonna set my timer, start, okay. So this is our main headline slash logo. Here's our little pictorial mark. And now we're gonna look for a sub copy that is going to be like, now we're gonna be looking for subheader copy and any other descriptor copy. Um, one that I have pulled is a new reason. Did I not new? Oh, is that it? Yes, I really, really liked this one. It might be a bit small um, in regards to its weight. Like I'm not huge on the weight, so we'll see. It might be cool to like add like type around it that says like, please recycle and stuff. And we'll keep all of that in probably that same font. Let's see which one it is. A Forma DJR deck medium. She's great. Okay. So we have color type out of the way. All right, I have just about 45 minutes left to do packaging and, oh God, packaging different color profiles and also the mock-ups. Ooh, it's getting down to it. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so before we actually start the packaging, I'm gonna go and look for some good mock-ups that I can use for my art. And I'm doing this because I wanna be able to design the packaging to fit within the size of whatever the can is gonna be. So I'm gonna look for the mock-ups first. So my go-to is mock-up world and also a uh, graphic burger. Birder, am I okay? Birder? Okay, graphic burger has nothing. If I type soda. Nope, no results found for soda, all right. Wow, mock-up world coming through again. Really like that one. Love that, love that, that's fun. These are always fun. I'm definitely thinking of like a taller can if possible, but I'm open to having like a traditional soda can shape as well. Ooh, ooh, love, love. Okay, I might have to go with a regular can. You use ones that like actually look appetizing, like you would want to see that ad on Instagram or something. Oh my camera's gonna die, God damn it. Switch into the screen recording. Okay, so I have this mock-up. How do I download it? Free download, thank you. And then I'm gonna download this one, and then I'm gonna download this one. All right, so let's open these mock-ups up, see what we're dealing with. So much. All right, cool. Now let's get to actually mocking these little, little cutie patooties up. All right, guys, we are down to the last 15 minutes of our challenge. It is 8.19 right now, and I only had to take like a 15 minute break so my camera could charge a little bit more. So I'm still on schedule for completing this challenge. Okay, so we have our mock-up here. How do I want to approach this? All right, guys, we are 
back for day two. Today we're gonna be building a website for Helter Seltzer. And it's not gonna be like a full like store website, obviously, because I can't actually make these products and you know make like all of like the e-commerce side. So I'm gonna make pretty much what would be like an intro website or just like a a little website that brands might make for a product that is coming soon or just an informative website, uh just like about their product or where they can buy it type of thing. That's what we're gonna be making through today's partner, Squarespace. So I am on the Squarespace backend right now. Uh, I'm just in my account, but let's start looking at some of these templates and then we're gonna start plugging some stuff in and we'll put together this website pretty quickly and pretty easily. So I am working within the 7.1 version of Squarespace. Previously, I had worked in the 7.0, but the 7.1 version of Squarespace is a lot easier than the previous version of Squarespace. Not that the old version is difficult, but it's just even easier to like control things and kind of like customize everything that you want now. And also there are new templates that are like even nicer than the old ones. So I was like really thinking, I'm like, this always gives me so much anxiety because I'm like, I don't know like what to pick. Like I looked at these like all morning and I'm like, Jesus, like there's, there's so many, so many beautiful templates and they're all like so versatile. And I know that my brand Helter Seltzer would go with any of them. But what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking might be best is this one right here, Hester. I really like this big landing page right here. I like the very simple header so we can view the demo site, which is really great. So you can actually like click around on things. So just scrolling like through here. I like how simple this is. Like we got these cute little images that I know I could just replace with my images just to inform people on like the flavor profiles of the seltzer. And then like these really big wide banners makes the site feel really open and airy. I like these individual flavors right here. I think we could do the same thing with the seltzers. And I really like this big page. You know, we got a little about, so we can add an about page. So maybe we'll have like a shop or maybe just like a home, our story or our background. And then maybe we can like add like a mock shop page where it just opens a new tab to like where you might find the seltzer. So I think I want to go with Hester. I think it's the, the best one for what we're trying to do. So uh, let's go ahead and start with this design. While we're waiting, I'm going to open since it's, ah, it's officially five o'clock. I can start drinking this now. It's fine. We got a Golden Road Fruit Cart Mango Hard Seltzer here. So I'm gonna open this. Ah, I went all over my arm. I'm disgusting. All right, so our site title. So this would be as soon as you sign up with Squarespace, like you enter like email, make an account and everything, pick a template. This is pretty much what it's gonna look like. So this is everything from the ground up, we're doing it all together. And I'll show you guys like how quickly you can actually build a website if you have all of your assets and copy ready. So my Squarespace site is called Helter Seltzer. No, we won't do hard seltzer, just Helter Seltzer. Let's go. All right, so it's got some helpful tutorials of how to navigate, and I'll show you guys just how I do that too, how to get through everything. Lots of help. All right, so get started. All right, so this thing will always like be here. Um, it kind of annoys me because I know what I'm. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, but yeah, it's always there. If you are like stuck with like, oh my God, I don't know where to go on my website or like, there's just so much to, like, I don't know where to start. This is a really good checklist of just how to go through everything really slowly. So we'll lightly follow that. So let's start updating. I like to work the top down from websites. So let's go in here and go into edit, edit site header. And this is where it is quite a bit different from the, from the 7.0 version, it's a, just a lot simpler to do these things. So I have all of my assets already broken out into a few different folders. I have all of my logo variations. I have my little, like, I call them flavor tiles, just like extra little images that we can pull around on the site. I have my can mockups, and then I have some banners that I made. So for the logo, I'm gonna go ahead and just do the white logo for now, because I have a big banner image that I'm gonna to put for the pickle perfection part. So we'll see like how that actually reads. So it's good to have like different versions of your logo, on, like whether it's a black logo, a white logo, a colored logo, um, or even a GIF, because I'm pretty sure we can do GIFs in here. Jesus. <laughs> 
So we'll test out some GIFs, if we can actually use a GIF in the logo, which would be really cool because a dream. Oh cool, you can actually turn your header a color. That's really helpful. I did not think about doing that, but awesome, even better. Um, and I don't really want it to be fixed. Fixed would just mean like as you scroll, it would stay at the top, which is fine, but I don't really need to do that right now. So I'm gonna go over here, done, hit save. So we updated our header right here and pretty much you're gonna go through all of these sections, actually not all of them, mostly focusing on pages and design. And once you get into like commerce and stuff, that's more of like the e-com end of it, which gets a little bit more complicated, but it's still pretty simple, but we're just gonna be focusing on the main aesthetics of the site today. So let's keep going with design. So this is the cool part. The fonts section is completely different from how it used to be. Um, now they kind of have like these font packs, which is kind of fun. Like just type that you can pick from that's already bun bundled together, which I think is nice. I really like this one. This is the one I believe I have on my grandpa website. I mean, I like a lot of these. I don't think any of these really fit the vibe I'm going for. Ooh, ooh, kind of like that, kind of like that quite a lot. Okay, we'll keep, we'll keep that for now. So hit save. So it's gonna just automatically update all of the type and pick our color palette. I mean, this doesn't really apply because I'm gonna replace a lot of these with images. So we'll skip that browser icon. Let's add this. I do have a favicon, fav icon. I already have that exported. Okay, so we got that in. So let's start actually editing. So I did make a banner. I don't know if it's gonna fit perfectly, so we might have to readjust. So this is the banner I made as kind of like our landing page. I assume that we're gonna still have to adjust some of this, but I wanted to make this really like quirky, fun, really I hate when people say quirky, but like, you know what I mean? Like a really fun, bright banner that was like, you know, it showed how fun the brand was. And I also left like all of this space in the middle so I could put text there. So let's see what it looks like. Please don't look absolutely terrible. Oh, you can also do a video too. That looks dumb. <laughs> Are you, are you kidding me? That looks awesome. It does get cut off. Oh wait, we can move our, our focal point. That's cool, I really like that. Oh my God, are you kidding me? That looks awesome. Wow, okay, I might need to change some of these fonts because they don't really read that well up there, but okay, okay. What is inset? Oh, I don't like that, I don't like that. Let's do that full bleed, that is so fun. Maybe we should probably change this text so it doesn't say pickle perfection. Do that for now. Ooh, I love that so much. Oh my God. Okay, so I wonder if, let's edit our site header here. I wanna see if we can actually uh, use the GIF I made. So just a little preview. That's my incredibly low res GIF that I made. Uh, I wanted to just do kind of like a gradient thing. I did it in Photoshop, so don't come for me, uh, you animation gods. But I just wanna see what it looks like. But it's cool that you can still upload GIFs as an actual logo. Oh my God, it looks so cute. Okay, <clears throat> all right, well, let's make it bigger. Like she deserves to shine. I think I can decrease my height here too. I'm I'm loving this so far. Ooh, look at our, our little thing up there. Love it, love it. Okay, that logo is a little large. Okay, but whatever. Let's go into design real quick. Change these, maybe our font pack is just not vibing with me. I kind of feel like this is definitely more of a sans serif font. Let's try Pragmatica. I mean, that's definitely what I like more. Okay, change that. So that's just under, so yeah, just hovering over those boxes, clicking on them and then changing the weight. Cool, okay, that's a lot better. You can read that a lot better. Uh, it's not perfect, but you know, good for now, good for now. Oh, it's cool you can control all of this from here. Capitalize, uppercase, lowercase. I don't know what I like more. I kind of like the all caps. All right, we'll save that for now, cool. Okay, I'm getting hot. Why am I wearing a sweatshirt? I don't know. Okay, and then let's revisit our colors. So let's start going through here and updating all of this. Um, I don't really want that section. So let's say, I'm so bad at copywriting, so please don't judge me. Um, it's not a strong suit of mine. All right, and then here, let's do like some products. guys and we got that going let's see if we can edit this section maybe we do two per or we do all four in one row that doesn't really look right oh cool okay perfect this is what i wanted ah 
Yes, exactly. Perfect. Beautiful. Incredible. Immaculate. All right. Oh God. No, we don't like that. Hi, Harry. What are you doing? Please don't knock my camera off. Harry. Harry, you cannot fit through there. He's gonna move my... There he is. All right, so we've added our products on our shop page and now we're returning to the home page to add some product listings on our home page. So I'm gonna go up into edit and these are all product blocks. So you have to think of Squarespace as just like a bunch of blocks. There's like text blocks, product blocks, image blocks, um, like link blocks, stuff like that. So I'm just gonna delete all these because it's too much work to edit them. Sometimes you just gotta start fresh. Okay, so you see like the spacers in here. So I'm gonna click right here and then it's gonna ask, what do you wanna add? I'm gonna go down here to commerce to product. So I'm gonna search pineapple. Mango, there it is. So maybe we can show a description. Maybe not, because it's the same. Ooh, enable quick, no, quick view. All right, so we got one. How do I, can I add another one? Cool, so we got two products going, and now let's add the other two. All right, so we got a shop now button right there. I'm gonna go up here, hit done, save. Cool. So did you, not did you see, I'm not giving you a personal tutorial, but you kind of saw how I was able to just like select each one and then you can kind of see like where it wants to go. Like you can move it up below, you can move it in between, that type of thing. So we got a shop now button down there. Looking good, looking good. All right. Oh, that one's got a quick view on it. None of the other ones have quick view. Okay. Looking really great, added that spacer right there to give it some breathing room. And now if you click on these, it will take you to the product page. Moving on down, we have this lovely little banner. So let's go ahead and replace this with a new one. Now some of my imagery is gonna be a little redundant because I didn't actually make an actual brand. So hopefully this still gets enough of the point across. So some of it is redundant, so bear with me. <laughs> but this is the one that we worked on last night. What do you think? It's a really nice shade of blue once she uploads. Now I'm gonna upload the four little uh, flavor tiles I made. I don't know why I called them that. We'll just add those in there. They're just like little graphics. I don't know if I could just use them as like labeling, like sections, or they could translate into like the like pack that holds all of the cans. It's kind of like the direction I was thinking of going because it's a little bit different from what the cans actually look like because it's more graphic based. Um, but I'm really happy with how they turned out. So I hope you guys like them too. I was really jazzed when I was making them and I do want them to be in the same order. Let's go down to our footer, wrapping up here. Helter Seltzer. Okay. All right. So we are wrapping up uh, the rest of this section of the video. Um, George, calm down. Uh, what do we have left to do? Oh, we have, let's actually do our story. Okay. It's Remove that section. Let's remove, hi George. Uh, you still can't see him. Okay, so. And then we'll just remove the blog page because we don't need it. Um, and then, oh, I wonder if we could add, let's add a gallery here, George. You <laughs> can't, buddy, you can't jump on my desk. What do I want? George, George. <laughs> He really wants to go on my desk. <laughs> Do not step on any of the keys, bud. Got some good George ASMR. You wanna say hi? Do not step on my keys. Go see dad. Hey, I love that. Okay, so then it changes. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, cool. This is looking awesome. Okay, now I think the last thing is our domain. So let's get a domain, get a domain. So let's think, what what should we add? Domains can get really expensive. Helter Seltzer is already taken by another small seltzer brand. So Helter Seltzer. Helter Seltzer online is pretty cool. 
Helter Seltzer Club. Ooh, should we go online or club? Let's do online, I like that. Cool, all right. And that's how you register a domain. I'll get a confirmation in a sec from Squarespace. But now let's go ahead and, hmm. <laughs> Once our URL is approved, it'll actually be live. So that's it. That's all. All right, guys, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you uh, learned a few things along the way. And again, this is just my very, very, very condensed version of creating a brand guide and also how I might create like a sample website. So I hope you learned a few things. I hope you had some fun and hard seltzers are something that I'm passionate about when I'm not drinking a good old beer, but had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for everyone's name suggestions. They were truly hilarious and I appreciate everyone's input. Thank you so much. It really means a lot because I cannot come up with like names for things very well. And also I hope you enjoyed the exploration of flavor ideas. Uh, let me know if you like any of the ideas. Let me know what flavor you guys would pick if you saw it at the store, if you bought like a variety pack, what flavor you would pick. I would probably lean towards the Jamaica because I really like Jamaica. Or I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I would truly like all of those flavors. Um, I really like kind of like a, a spicier cocktail, but I also really like like fruity cocktails as well. So if we could have the two of them in a hard seltzer, boy oh boy would I be happy. If one exists, definitely let me know down in the comments because I'm getting really tired of all of these hard seltzers that are pretty much like the same. So give me some, give me something more. I want something more exciting. So thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring an extended version of this video. If you guys want to make your own website definitely go do it whether it's a portfolio you're building an online store whatever it may be go head over to squarespace.com slash kellorn k-e-l-l-e-u-r-e-n to get 10% off your first purchase you guys saw how easy it was for me i probably spent like because i was talking a lot it probably took me like 45 minutes to film that but in reality if i weren't talking i probably could have banged out that entire website in like less than a half hour because i had all of my content ready and the copywriting probably took me the longest so there you go. The new version of Squarespace is even easier to use and I cannot recommend it enough. It was so easy for me to go make a helterseltzer.online. So go check out helterseltzer.online and uh, click around. Hopefully I didn't miss anything, but I probably did. <laughs> but I'm really excited for you guys to like watch this video. It's, it's obviously not done, but by the time you guys are seeing this, it's done and uploaded and everything. But this is the last video I will be filming in this setting. The next video you see from me beyond this will be filmed in Portland. We're moving this week to Portland and I am super excited. I'm super like stressed out and anxious about it, but I'm really excited to kind of like get a fresh start in a city I'm really excited to live in. So say goodbye to uh, everyone making fun of my dish rack in the back. My dish rack is not gonna collapse. I got it on Amazon, by the way. If anyone needs like a really nice dish rack, it's on Amazon. Really nice one. It's supported us for the past year because we don't have a dishwasher. So goodbye, Los Angeles. Thank you for everything that you've given me here. All of your many, 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 many sunny days and very few cloudy days so uh yeah thank you so much to everyone who has supported my channel because of you guys i'm able to actually go off my unemployment and uh because i was furloughed from my job at live nation uh i was able to go off my unemployment and formally quit my job at live nation to pursue doing youtube full-time as well as freelancing full-time so thank you so much for everyone's support it really means a lot especially my patreon supporters you guys are awesome you've been so patient with me you're truly like amazing and yeah i'm just grateful because i wouldn't been able i wouldn't be able to do this at all if it weren't for youtube like two years ago i was working a dead-end job that i hated so much before i got hired at live nation and i was miserable and i would have given anything to have the opportunity i have now um so i'm incredibly grateful and it makes me feel like so like wholesome to know that it's because of all of you guys truly i would not be able to do this without you so thank you so much and thank you to all of my sponsors who have literally put forth their money and believed in my extremely long form and sometimes boring content um to make these videos possible because they take so long to film 
prep, film, and edit, and also shout out to Maddie for editing all of my videos. They take a long time to edit, usually like quite a few days of editing for hours on end. I would say like an average video takes like anywhere between 30 and 40 hours to edit for, you know, a half hour, 45 minute video. That's how long it takes. So um, thank you so much to you guys. I really appreciate you. And I will see you in my next video in Portland. Goodbye.